Hi guys, so on the last video I told you that from now on I'm going to shoot in English and I took this new challenge quite seriously so I decided to take a short trip in the most English city I know which is London today a quick review I just came back from a wine shop called Majestic in Fulham London worker there are so nice very welcome very friendly they love to share wine knowledge with customer so I directly enter the shop and I ask them straight away please advise me an English wine because I'm in London and I want to try something English also I have very little knowledge about English wine so I was very curious about it and one of the workers directly advised me this baby is from Ch Chapel Don Winery which is a very famous UK winery and what is very interesting about this wine is that it's made out of Bacchus grape variety I know that Bacchus is a crossing between Riesling, Sylvaner and Muller Trugo which is a sweet Ceylon uh, grape variety I, I have to admit that I didn't check anything about this winery before I'm tasting this wine so it would be very honest review right? So first of all you can see this color is quite beautiful it's very pale lemon and it's also very shiny on the nose it's very aromatic it reminds me a bit of Sauvignon Blanc you can feel a lot of aroma of pineapple, grapefruit, melon, apricot and peach. You can feel also a bit of waxy, uh, a waxy sensation. Probably this wine stay on the lees. Mm. On the palate, Orvo is a dry wine. You can feel a lot of sweetness coming from the aroma because the fruity aroma are so much overripe. I guess maybe because of the vintage 2020, maybe it was a warm vintage, maybe a warm summer and that's why all those fruity aroma are quite overripe. But I cannot feel any oak, probably they are using only stainless steel large vats. The level of alcohol as well is not too high, it's 12.5. Uh, so to give a little conclusion about this wine, I would say that if you like uh, easy to drink fresh fruit forward white wine maybe you can give a try you won't get disappointed by this one about the price now so i bought it for almost 17 pounds in this shop so it's around 20 euro which is not cheap actually you know but if you want to try something new something from uk something special i think you could give a chance to this uh, chapel don backers all right that's all for today I will make some search about this winery on internet and I will add it under this video so if you want more information about uh, Chapel Don Winery please have a look and see you soon bye bye